Yikes. What's up, brothers? We're about to do some resonator delete on this thing. We're gonna make it sound pretty. You just washed it? I'll say it looks clean as hell. I'm gonna fog on it, man. Gee, she is looking pretty though. But yeah, so he's already got flow masters on this thing. So now we're gonna take that resonator out. We're gonna be taking this resonator out right here, this guy. So the point with this one is hopefully not to really make it louder, just to make it crispier. Cause the resonator, that's what it's mainly for. The muffler is all about the noise complaint. You know what I mean? I did a res delete on the STI and it barely did anything. So I'm kind of upset about that, but it kind of wasn't worth my time. But anyway, hopefully his will make his a little bit better than mine. Either way, a little bit will do better, especially because he has the aftermarket mufflers. Yes, they are definitely flow masters. Just wanted to check because I did say that earlier. Um, so basically what we're gonna do is cut this one out. Uh, we're gonna weld in a new one, but we're gonna take it down. Luckily the bolts are in pretty good shape. So they'll come off, they're not too rusty or break or anything. But we gotta take it off here and then follow it up to the front before the cat and at the flange right here, which is tough to see with no light. And take it off the flange right there, which none of this stuff looks real nasty, rusty. Might have to put some heat on it, but it should come down pretty easily. Got this little bad boy here for the exhaust. These are pretty easy, pretty nice if you've ever seen these. I'll put them in the description so you guys can check them out. They're pretty much just wrap around the exhaust and then wrench on them, especially if you're looking for a really straight, clean cut. These are really good for that. So one thing I'm doing, it's kind of hard to see with the camera, but the exhaust here is two and a half here. Let me, uh, there we go. So the exhaust is two and a half here, and it's a little bit smaller than two and a half here. And the piece that I'm gonna be using is two and a half, and instead of doing a butt joint, I'd like to slip it over a little bit. It makes the weld joint a little easier and nicer to weld. So I'm actually gonna cut it a little bit off of the resonator there so I have a little bit more space and it fits a little nicer. And it does do that on both sides. Got the tool wrapped up, ready to go. We're gonna cut it. So we gotta cut most of the way through with the scissors. We got broke this loose, and now we're basically gonna be prying it down. Yeah. But it might be a better idea. I see it. Flex pipe? Well, flex pipe. Flex pipe is a turbo. The flex pipe is a turbo. Yes. Oh, I almost took his arm off. Dude, wait, what's going on with that? Absolutely nothing. Boys, about I think this res delete may be pointless, but no, you're okay. gonna do it anyway. It'll be done, something. You're a solid brother, back here. For another, for, another, for another pointless exhaust work. You could find out that it actually makes it sound worse. You'd be like, hey, can you guys put that back on my car? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's too loud now, you can turn it down. <laughs> All right, so, got this off. Got this piece we gotta take care of. This is obnoxious, but we'll probably just put that back in place. And I'll just run a bead right over top of that as well. Oh, look at all this carbon. Yeah, she's running a little rich. What do you think? It's a good thing though, keeping it healthy. Cause I know uh, who tuned this and I know they know what they're doing, so. But anyway, so now I just gotta clean these up a little bit, make it nice and smooth, and then we'll throw it. I'll measure this, throw the length of pipe in there, tack it, and then pull it down. And then we'll do everything. Here. You know what we gotta do? Take advantage of the open exhaust opportunity. Oh, wow, dude. Yeah, silence. Oh. The sound of silence. Hype level went down real fast around here. Well, he's still smiling though. But as you guys already heard, it's gonna be pointless. It's not gonna get that loud. But hopefully it'll get more of those backfires because those sounded pretty sweet. So that'll be nice if it does that. All right, so I got this thing fitted up. I had to take the file around the edges a little bit to actually get the pipe over it because it is a tight fit. But we got it in there. So now I'm gonna tack it in here in place. And one thing to always be aware of when you are fitting it on there is make sure that, because this does move around a bit. So when getting it right, gotta make sure that the tips are still coming out the way they're supposed to. And they're good and even, but these ones didn't really move. So make it ease and make it look pretty, we're gonna pull this down. So we got 14s over here, looks like 12s over here. And then on this side, it's a stud, so all you got is the 14 nut on either side to pull it down. 
Oh, at least I thought it was gonna come right apart, but it broke. All right, since this exhaust is pretty much pointless, we want some real excitement in our life. So since we got this other piece of the pipe off, we're gonna start now, and maybe it'll be a little bit better. We're just gonna leave the exhaust off. What do you guys think? <laughs> All right, so we're done with the exhaust here. Just MIG welded it together real quick, just to keep it ease of access. And then with the spring bolts here, what I'm doing, I don't have replacement right here right now, but what I can do is I just use some washers to retain the back of the spring, but there's no shoulder on this bolt like you do have on the original one, like this. Because what that'll do is basically make it a specific torque spec, and once the spring, once that shoulder hits the flange, this spring is at a certain tension, and then it stops it there. So we don't have that, but we'll just use this to at least use the spring bolt, the spring still, and then a lock nut just to put it where we want it. All right, time to see how disappointing this exhaust sounds. Now it's done. It, dude that that's sounds bad, good dude that's not bad actually right well guys what's that yeah no i'm definitely putting that in i recorded like 15 minutes of just staring at the back of the car but <laughs> anyway as you guys have heard i didn't look at the comparison yet but sure as hell doesn't sound much different there may be when it comes to the comparison video i don't know but you guys will be the judge in my opinion it's not worth it don't waste your time if you're going to uh best is probably to buy like a catless pipe where it eliminates that secondary cat and the resonator. That'll probably be the best way to go. I haven't looked at pricing or anything of that. Maybe I'll put some of the link to, to, uh, in the description below for you guys to check out if I find any good ones. But uh, other than that, there you have it. Tell me what you guys think, comment, tell me how crappy it was, and I'll see you on the next one.